As with any programming activity, errors are, of course, possible. To avoid errors, try to be as consistent as possible with your control names. You must use the actual control names that are on the form when you're writing code, referencing those names. You'll recall to open up the code window, I can do so by double clicking on, for example, the English button. That will open up the code window for me. To demonstrate a common error, I will highlight and delete the line of code LBL message dot caption equals hello world. I will then retype LBL message and I will purposely misspell LBL message. Note I only have one S. Also note when I press the period or the dot that the tools tip does not appear. But I can go ahead and type in caption and type in hello world. And in fact Visual Basic will accept this line of code at this point in time. It in fact will let me run the program. So I'll click on the start menu item and I can run the program clicking on the Spanish button. That works without a problem. I click on the English button and that's where the error is found. I click on OK and the code window is presented to me and LBL message as I spelled it is highlighted. And what Visual Basic is simply saying is, I do not recognize this object on this form. To correct this error, I should first stop the run of the program. You'll notice that Visual Basic is now in what's referred to as break mode. I can end the program by clicking on the end button. Now I can go ahead and make this change, and I could simply insert an S, and everything will be okay. Let me delete this line one more time, however, and retype it simply to demonstrate how you can easily tell whether you've typed the correct object name or not. As soon as I type LBL message and I press the dot, if it recognizes that object, it will then present me with a list of choices to affect that label. I can of course simply click on caption and then equals hello world. So if you do not get that little drop down box that's clue number one, that what you've typed in is not being recognized on the form. One way to avoid misspellings is to have the properties window available to you while you're in the code window. I'll press the F4 key, and you'll recall that there is a drop-down box at the top of the properties window that you can click on that will give you a list of all the objects, the label, command buttons, and so forth, that are on the form. So you can use this as a reference list to re refresh your memory as to what the spellings of these various objects are. You can get the same list within the code window by clicking on the drop down object window and then see the list of items or, or objects that are on the form from this list as well. Remember the key in programming is to be consistent. 